So why don't why don't you just ride on over to downtown soldiers soldier downtown <laughs> cop sales what? and time. <laughs> All right. It's good until downtown soldier had a stroke at the end. But better make communications with somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Team Fun's Wrestle Week in conjunction with Pro Wrestling Sheets. My name is Noah Boom Boom Boom. Let me hear you say way o Waterman. I am joined by Louie, Mr. Nasty Fresh Thomas, mm-hmm. Michael, Trotty Pippin, Petricelli. All right. <laughs> Hannah, Wave Girls Run the World, Lupian, and joined by us from Pro Wrestling Sheets, James, Jimmy, Jim Jam, Jamma Jamma Jam, nope. Jim Jim nope. Jam. McKenna. Don't agree. Okay. Don't agree. <laughs> just got to call him that for the rest of the day. <laughs> I, I veto that nickname immediately. Too late. So. It's already in there. And we are going to go ahead and play Smack Talk Showdown. Now, Jim, run us the rules real quick. How does this work? Welcome to Smack Talk Showdown, everyone. This game. I am very excited to play this with everyone. The rules. It's a lovely set of rules. Essentially, there are two wrestlers, one promoter, mm. and with us, two audience members. Mm. The way this is working, essentially, the two wrestlers that are going to start, that would be Sir Waterman and Sir Petricelli here. Mm. Both right. of you will pull names. Okay. You pick one from each stack. You get to put the names whatever way you want. You get to pick that. Lovely. Ooh. I, being I the like producer that. to start, will pull a segment and three smack cards. You both get to pull one. During that time, you will have a minute to cut a promo. Okay. In that minute... Whatever you want to say during that promo is absolutely fine, as long as it falls in the context of the segment that is occurring. I will read that out loud. During that time, smack cards will be played. There are variables that will be introduced to your promo. You must address that segment. So, without further ado, is everyone feeling moderately comfortable? All right, yeah, let's let's do it. This is... All right. Let's get, get in. Don't forget your smack cards, gentlemen. I think the hardest part of this game is picking the order of which I want my name. All right. Well, options. I will be <laughs> the acrobatic silencer. Well, the acrobatic silencer is here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, boy. And I am Studious Star. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got to hit the books to make it big, kids. Yeah, very <laughs> medical. <I'm... laughs> okay, do you have your oh, smack? Yes, smack card. Get your smack card. look at what it says. That is, that is going to be a big part of this game for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, gentlemen, we are traveling to Bogota, Colombia. Oh. One wrestler only held the championship belt for one day before being defeated by their depo- opponent. The producer decides who was a one-day champ. That would be Studious Star. Oh. <laughs> you are champion for one day. You also begin this promo. You have a minute. Ready? Begin. One day. One day. I was sitting there studying for this match nonstop, and I only got the championship for one day because I was screwed out of it. Uh-oh, the speaker must flex a muscle not involving their arms. I was screwed <laughs> out of it as I flexed my chin. Mm. <laughs> and I hated, I hated the uh, fact that I was made a fool of by only well, having also, it for one day. The speaker must act scared of their opponent and cower in fear. And the way he took it from me, I don't know how to handle it. I just, his imposing figure, his his bulging biceps. Oh, I don't think I'm strong enough. I don't like enough. this. The speaker's promo must have a medical theme. <laughs> but after studying him and looking at the way those muscles shaped his arm, looking real deep into the, how the tendons fold and flex over their strong muscles, I have to think that, yes, I can do that. But paying attention to my anatomy books, knowing exactly what The speaker has been points. fired by the Smack Talk Wrestling Federation. <laughs> but yet for some reason, one day and I was let go. And that Your was- promo is over. That <laughs> 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 went through a lot. Come to a lot of ground. There's a lot Studio of ground Studio Star, Star had a huge up and down in his one day championship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was more character arc in that than Doug Starrett was getting their entire career. <laughs> Acrobatic silencer, you have never been champion. It is time to start your promo. I have never been champion, but it is time for that to change. Except because I... The speaker must remove one of their name cards. They only have a one-word name now. Because I am now simply the silencer. (laughs) 
and I will put an end to all of this loudmouth braggadociousness coming from this. The speaker one must invent champion. a mnemonic device for one of their names. <laughs> uh, what, sorry, remind me what a mnemonic device is. Like, like S. Uh, you're the sexy, oh. intelligent. And as the silence are, I will say sex is for sensuous. <laughs> wow. That is. S is for sensuous. That's where I that went. is for intimidating. <laughs> L is for languid. E is for extreme. <laughs> M is for never gives up. <laughs> C is for crushing my opponent. Well, right. E is for. <laughs> Even more extreme, and R <laughs> is for righteous. The speaker must will, accuse their opponent of wearing a wig. I will show this secretly bald individual <laughs> that I am the real one of deserving of champion as I remove that he obviously fake hair from his head. Time is up. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, fellow audience members. I believe the silencer won that. Uh, I vote silencer. I vote oh, silencer. I would, just to have my voice out there, say that uh, yes. Studio Star really uh, like went through with all the so different much. smack cards that were thrown down there. But like the silencer had a very difficult time with the mnemonic device. <laughs> Yeah. But he made it. He made it. He also didn't Actually, that was wrong on me. I did that wrong. The audience members are supposed to vote, and then I am a tiebreaker if need be. I'm going with Studio Star. You are going with Silencer. I'm going with Silencer. I, as a producer, am picking the Silencer as a champion. Oh, I appreciate it. Also, I'm not sure if we went over it, but this is a segment card. You must win three of these to win the game. Yes. The first one has been doled out. All right, so we So now rolls, they go clockwise. So now you, I'm fine, producer? sir. You are the producer. Right, After my one day championship. You're so you guys go ahead, pick, right. uh, pick your names. You do the and same. We are the fine audience. I am the audience, finally. That's what I've been waiting for, realistically. I Welcome to the audience. It's great to be here, by the way. It's um. it's certainly something. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me go let your oh, names down. You're gonna have a uh, I'm going to take my Yeah, take I your card. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right, you go. Why don't you reveal Let's your see. name? Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm the downtown soldier. Mm. Well, let's see how downtown soldier stacks up against dentist sex. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should. Okay, I've got to go. All right, guys. We're in uh, Tehran, Iran. Ooh. The wrestlers are auditioning for a spot in a used car dealership commercial. The best audition wins the segment. And I'm going to go ahead and let... Uh, oh, I'm going to pitch some cars. That was great. Have Downtown Soldier go first. All right, when you're riding around downtown, yes. you, need a, you need some fresh wheels, and even if those wheels were already ridden on, I know how they the can be good as The speaker must new. invent a new type of match and challenge their opponent to it. <laughs> and that'll be for a table, <laughs> tables, ladders, and chairs match <laughs> against my opponent, Dentist Sexy. <laughs> While also if I can interject, deals. I believe you have to invent a new type of match. <laughs> we'll be playing an underwater match where we have to hold our, hold our breaths as long as possible. We've got powerful right. lungs like myself as the downtown soldier. The speaker must whisper a nonsense phrase into their opponent's ear. If the opponent laughs, they lose automatically. <laughs> um... Mm. All right, keep promoing. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> as I was saying before I had to say something private to my opponent, uh, <laughs> we here, we offer some used cars that even when they're fully refurbished can go underwater for that underwater match I had mentioned earlier. But either, either way, we'll be selling you far more fine vehicles than my opponent, Dentist Sexy, who's only concerned with pulling your teeth and pulling money out your wallet unjustly. So... Why don't, why don't you just ride on over to downtown soldier soldier downtown <laughs> cop sales what? And time. <laughs> All right. It was good until downtown soldier had a stroke at the end of the <laughs> If there's a car dealership I'm going to, it's downtown soldier soldier downtown <laughs> car lot. That is. All right. Oh my God. So, oh, that's the sexy, you ready? Mm -hmm. And go. To run or run, I'm gonna drill something in your mouth. <laughs> and that's the sweet deal on a Ford Fusion. The speaker must pose as if they're in a photo shoot during their promo. Let me tell you something. There's no greater comfort for your behind, for your mouth, for your canines, for your molars. All right. All right, the speaker must deliver their promo like an auctioneer. Hi, <laughs> uh, see one, uh, Toyota thing. <laughs> 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 
700, 700. Look at your downtown the soldier. The speaker must perform their promo while being directly behind their opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something about downtown soldier. <laughs> his, his, his front twos and his, his back sevens, full of cavities, full of holes. <laughs> Let me tell you something about his teeth. <laughs> no guard on them. Lemons, all lemons. But Time. you know it's not a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was going to a good place. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? I, oh I think I have to vote for Dentist Sexy out of fear. That was just a fear-based promo for me. I was scared at the end of that. <laughs> yeah. I also don't like the idea of a dentist like just leering behind me for like... An extended period of time. Yeah, it's especially not at a good used feeling. car lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. There's a lot yeah. going on there. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't like being scared. You love horror movies. I hate them. I'm gonna have to vote for Downtown Soldier. Yeah. Oh mm. God. Um, Tiebreaker. Yeah, I think I put uh, Dentist Sexy with more physical work, and I, I liked it. I'm gonna have to give this one to Dentist Sexy. Dentist Sexy. <laughs> I was gonna say if there's anything one can say about Louis Thomas. He does more physical work. <laughs> <laughs> we can put these weren't used. We can put these back. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Did not use my smack. Code. <coughs> that's all right. Also, yeah. can we start like a Patreon? Mm -hmm. Can we get like a paywall? If you want to oh. find out what Downtown Soldier <laughs> whispered in my ear. <laughs> all I'm going to say is it wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Something well, tells me it was It wasn't worth it. Don't pay the <laughs> money. All right, Trump, you all are right. the producer. I am producer. Producer. You two go head to head. <laughs> Louis right. versus Hannah. Here we go. All right, wrestlers, pick your names. Look at this. Okay. All right, and grab your All smack right. cards as well. Yes, I grab each one smack card a piece. And I'm gonna Ooh, take smack three. card. In, in, smack in card. smack. I am the Great Flash. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Call me Owl Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Do you right. have to do a promo or can I keep this to Owl Fabulous? Today's now? match is great, great Flash versus Owl Fabulous. And we're what? at the uh, Beachfront Brawl in Panama City, Florida. Whoa. The wrestlers are competing at the Smack Talk Wrestling Federation's annual Beachfront Brawl Spring Break events. Woo. I give the first uh, promo to Great Flash. Take it away. All right. Flash, Flash, Flash. You can't even see where I am. I'm going to be you. <laughs> Come on down to the beach. Bring your bikinis, bring your speedos. We're gonna have a brawl. Nobody likes margaritas. We're gonna keep this on theme. More than me. Speaker must talk like a surfer during their promo. All right, brawl. We're gonna get in those waves and we're gonna rip some gnarly ties. And... <laughs> My and, dad's so disappointed. And... Right now. <laughs> oh, well, this must trade names. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I am Owl Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Hoot! I can, <laughs> I can turn my head depth. around 180 degrees to see you, and I'll, I'll know you're coming. I'll get ya. <laughs> I can. <laughs> All right. That would be All time. Right. So that was a promo. That was All right. Uh, that was Owl a... fabulous. That was um. I thought you were a great flash at first, but something changed. Part yeah, of the it was crazy. Um, Out of right. nowhere. So uh, next, I've got. I I feel like I said this already, but great flash. <laughs> Take it away. Let's see what you can do with it. You're down at the beach. All of a sudden, somebody comes up to you. Towel around their waist. Bam, bam, penis <laughs> out. Who back, back again? That's the great flash, baby. <laughs> All right. The speaker must constantly tell the audience to be quiet during their promo. Silence! <laughs> when my penis is out, your <laughs> mouth goes shut. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But then when I wrap it up, talk again. Tell oh. me how much you hate me. Panama City, Florida. <laughs> A trash town that doesn't deserve to see this meat. All right, Papa, hey, Papa Squat. The speaker must deliver their promo while doing air squats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me tell you something about this penis. <laughs> In and out at the beach all day. <laughs> you know who'd like to see that? Al Fabulous. <laughs> you know who can't handle this? Flash. Al Fabulous. <laughs> you know who can't handle this? 
Panama City. <laughs> Wish I was in Daytona. <laughs> All, right. All, right. <laughs> All right, audience. We had two. How uh, do I vote promos. for neither? Uh, how how yeah. can I do no. that? I it read is. the rules multiple I'm, times going into this. I don't know how I can vote for I, neither. I'm saying that I think that 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 last hoot that came in <laughs> with this promo won it over for oh. me. <laughs> and again, for me, Louis wins with the fear-based promo. <laughs> <laughs> like both of us so far have been absolutely horrifying to me. <laughs> I, okay, so as yeah, producer, you get, to, you get a tiebreaker. There was far too much penis talk and great flashes. As on brand as it was, I'm giving it to Al Fabulous. <laughs> I would like to say how much heavy lifting I had to do in that. I came up with the Al Fabulous character. <laughs> <laughs> I had to rework Gate Break Flash oh into boy. something different. It's all right. I understand why we're not pushing Louis. Thomas. So far, each new character has won a segment. I'm hoping uh, to keep up the just trend. Put this back in. Yeah. It didn't get. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So next <laughs> is uh, so Louis, your producer now. Oh yeah. You are. Well, yeah, give me three right, of these are, bad boys. Ambiance. It's me. Yeah, the ambiance. Yeah, ambiance. Ambiance. Right. ambiance with All right, the ambiance. Sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Bridgetown Barbados in the one hour presentation match. The wrestlers must convince the audience to buy a timeshare. The best pitch wins the same. <laughs> in Barbados. Right. Sweet. Yeah. I have to convince the audience to buy a timeshare? Yeah. Timeshare. Well, it's going to be easy coming from Killer Nasty. <laughs> Say my name if you're nasty. <laughs> well, that's not nearly as intimidating as Sullivan Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody would sell me a timeshare. <laughs> How am I supposed to meet Sullivan Grant in timeshare time? <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to switch out one of these because we're not going to be able to film it. Oh. That's okay. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a perfectly fair Feels okay. To make. Though I would like to say it was a one-handed push-up competition. <laughs> Whoever was most successful won, but, you know, space well, constraints. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, 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 that's doing. why. <laughs> okay. I like Comments, it. though, on who uh, you think was <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's get this party started. Uh, solving Grant. All right. Ready, <laughs> set, Kick it off. go. I just want to tell everybody about the best place ever. It's called the intersection of Sullivan and Grant on the Lower East Side. <laughs> You should buy a timeshare there for the low, low price of like, I don't know, a couple thou. I'd like the audience to do a slow clap during the speaker's promo. You too can have a timeshare vacation all the time in New York City. You can see the site. You can have some Chinese food. You can go to Times Square and take selfies. <laughs> Come on down, buy your timeshare today before it runs out. Yeah. We sped up too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, baby. Let's start over, ready? Go. Let me tell you, a timeshare is mm -hmm. about flexibility. It's about fun. It's about yeah. vacations. Yeah. And it's about sharing <laughs> a place that you live sometimes with other people you don't know. What could be weird about that? And it's a low Thank price. Christ. Woo! And that's time, Daddy. <laughs> All right. Well, that got me hyped. I appreciate that, that the timeshare is apparently in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, talking to people in Barbados yeah. about a time yeah. Yeah. somewhere less <laughs> tropical. It's <laughs> very smart business, Sullivan. Yeah, thanks. Okay, all right, sounds good. Ooh, it's killing nasty. Killing nasty. Say my name if you're nasty. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. World traveler. The speaker must promote their travel agency. Yeah. Oh. Kill a nasty air from Nasty Air, my travel <laughs> line. Ooh, you like nasty air? You know where nasty air flies? Barbados. Something smells. The speaker must hold their nose during this promo. Nasty. Oh, well, where are we right now? Barbados? More like Barbados. <laughs> I don't like it. You want to buy a timeshare in somewhere cool? Like Africa? Or Europe? I would like the speaker to incorporate the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes in the promo. Listen, you want to take your entire body to somewhere fabulous? Head, shoulders, knees, and toesy woesies? <laughs> Killer Nasty knows where to take you. He's got timeshares everywhere. You want to go somewhere uh, for like a week? Killer Nasty, uh, describe their physique uh, like a sculpture. <laughs> Say, my, my physique? Yes. Ooh, my perfect curvy physique. <laughs> Killer Nasty walks in a room. That chiseled marble curve. <laughs> that... S slender limestone kneecap. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's time. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh I think slender limestone kneecap really sealed that for me. Um, I don't want the one that wasn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well. How are we feeling? Uh, right? I think 
Um, I think Sullivan Graham gave a, gave a great pitch. The oh, problem was you. is that I was clapping during the whole thing, so <laughs> yeah. I actually couldn't hear most of it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give Killer Nasty. Yeah, I'm going to give Killer Nasty on that yeah. one. Too. Killer Nasty with the first sweep. <laughs> well, That's how Killer Nasty does it. <laughs> all right. So. He shows up, he hurts. <laughs> all right. All right, so Hannah, your producer. Ooh, oh, I can't wait. I got to face this mask yeah. idiot to my left. <laughs> I hear he's bald. <laughs> I heard that rumor going around. I wish you snatch that like wig. Canonical face. <laughs> snatch that wig. Snatch that wig. Okay, that's okay, good. Sorry, I'm trying not to look. All right. All right. So, I am twisted pain with a wall. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. Ooh, prepare to get served by the cunning waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Your dinner of pain is here. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, ladies yes. and gentlemen, we're here for the classic rookie v. veteran match Ooh. in Youngstown, Ohio. Oh. That's a town in Ohio. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Learning things about geography today. One wrestler is a fresh-faced rookie. Cunning, Cunning waiter. <laughs> One, the other is a tenured veteran. Twisted, Twisted pain. pain. The producer chooses which wrestler is which. I just did that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good old Here we are. So we're going to let the veteran go first. Ooh, yeah. Twisted Pain, go. Now the, spe nope. the speaker must boast about their fly sneaker. Now, I may be an old man in this business for far too long, but I've got the flyest of kicks, and I know what the kids like <laughs> with my nice Air Jordans. And I'm going to say I'm going to move them all up and down the spine the of Cunning Waiter here. The speaker must describe their inner animal. Like a, like a house cat, just going up and down, pawing, kneading, destroying the back, scratching, and... The speaker must say, back in my day, before every statement they make. Because back in my day, we had some respect for the house cat. Back in my day, we knew when to stand down and make way for the grizzled old vets. Back in my day, we knew how to handle ourselves in the rain. The speaker must deliver the remainder of their promo in one breath. And as hard as that might be to believe, I will tell you right now that I will destroy the youngster coming my way and make sure that he stands Time. no chance. <laughs> Nice. Did it. Breathe. Well, well breathed. You did it. Well, well, well breathed. Well breathed. All right. All right, cunning waiter, it is your turn. Ding, 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 ding. Dinner time. <laughs> the speaker must say fact before every statement they make. Fact. I'm younger. I'm stronger. And here in Ohio, I'm king of the restaurants. You want to come around here and have your meal and eat it too? Not on my watch. The speaker must uh, hype their upcoming mixed team. You know what else I do in Ohio? I sing and I rap. That's what I do. And I have a mixtape, and I'm going to give you my SoundCloud link after we're done. And you're going to listen to it, and you're going to like it. The speaker must high-five every audience member during their program. That's right. Us Ohioans, we know what dinner is. We know what good quality food is. And come this Sunday, come this Sunday, you're going to know what food tastes like. Pain food when I take you down. The speaker must describe their signature cocktail. Also with my restaurant, we have alcohol. So much alcohol. It's a pain uh, martini. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even tell us. Yeah. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, it's apparently a pain martini. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what a pain martini constitutes. It's, that's but... my cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> All right, audience member. Mm. What do you think? Mm. I like the way Cunning Waiter was engaging with the audience. <laughs> I felt very connected yeah. to that promo, to be sure. However, I feel like Twisted Pain delivered a promo that was much more about what he was going to do to his opponent. <laughs> and I like that. I'm going to go with Twisted Pain on this one. That's true. I'm mostly just intrigued by that house cat fighting style. As much as I like the high fives, I have Where's that Ohio Twisted pride pain. we had constituted? <laughs> that sweet Ohio <laughs> pride we had. All right. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, after one round, everybody has oh, one, everyone's got one, one card. All right. The democratic process has failed <laughs> us again. <laughs> uh, oh, and I'm back to being the producer. Yeah, all right, so, all right. Oh, boy. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm just ready. I just want to keep watching. <laughs> you like being the audience? I'm going to grab a smack card, too. Uh, yeah, I guess I can do that. Yeah, no, if you want to. No pressure. I'm just going to smack. I can um, do. <laughs> this one might be hard to. 
I'm Hard sad Louis is not in this one. No. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yes, to Baltimore, Maryland. Hey. hey. What? Some of us are actually from Baltimore. No, all right. Oh. 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 <laughs> Maryland shade. <laughs> one wrestler has never won a match. They must convince the audience why they'll win this one. Producer decides which wrestler has never won. I would like to know which wrestlers are fighting before oh, I choose. Oh, yeah. smart, yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well. I can tell you who definitely has won many matches is Patriot Vicious. <laughs> <laughs> but I am the Brainy Giant. <laughs> okay, Patriot Vicious has definitely never won a match. <laughs> <laughs> my love for my country just always gets in the way of my focus on the fight, but not tonight. Oh, wait, wait. All right. going. So, first one to go, uh, strictly because he has won matches, Ooh. it's going to be Brainy Giant. Brainy Giant, let's go. I've crunched the numbers, and I know for a fact that given Patriot Vicious has never won a match, he stands no chance. He's Brainy, but can he beatbox? The speaker must beatbox during their promo. <laughs> and I know that I can beat the Patriot Vicious. Oh, All yeah. Right. Now you must attempt to befriend the opponents. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't respect Patriot Vicious. As a matter of fact, I just want to be able to say that despite our differences, I may not lay down for you, but I will stand beside you. I will go ahead and the be cheering you on. The speaker must introduce an audience member as the knockoff version of their <laughs> opponent. Be cheering you on, while in the meantime also cheering on our good friend, American Angry. <laughs> American Angry <laughs> I love this is so just much. has at least won a match before. The speaker Vicious. must talk about his tremendous amount of swag. And the only thing that's even more swagalicious than American Angry <laughs> is the Brainy Giant. Okay, brainy. you're you're done. You're, <laughs> your your thing is over. <laughs> I am excited for that to end. Okay. Patriot Vicious, yeah, th this is your shot to win a match. Finally. I want to see what you got. Let's go. When you think about America, you think about perseverance. You think about never giving up in the face of adversity. It doesn't matter how many times the world knocks you down. The speaker must clap to, for every syllable they you're say. You're ready to take it to the top. Don't let the American dream <laughs> let you down now, everyone. Just like Patriot Vicious won't when he finally clinches a victory tonight <laughs> over the brainy giant. And listen to me closely as I say every single word of this of this statement because the pa vicious pa patriot vicious. I'm not playing is, another which card. Which is my name. Loves the country that I live in, born and raised so very much, and I will show this so-called brainy giant that I have what it takes. Even if I wasn't born into greatness, I will achieve greatness over time with my true victory attained tonight here in Baltimore. Maryland, one of the original colonies of the United States of America. Time. I like it took you halfway through your promo to realize what a syllable is. <laughs> <laughs> America! <laughs> America. <laughs> oh, no, that, America has two claps. Yeah. This is true. I'm a stickler for the rules, so I'm giving it to Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, whatever. <laughs> I feel for you, Patriot Vicious. Yeah. You had a really tough job, but I gotta give it to me. <laughs> Brainy Giant. The first yeah. Two Patriot card Vicious. holder. <laughs> and with a chance to win. Ooh. That's true. I'm sure we'll let that happen. <laughs> Although you're not a wrestler. Actually, wait, yeah. I'm not no, no, I am now oh, the producer. producer. Oh. But I have a third segment card, so I. Okay. <laughs> so I. I, I win. win. So pick your nine. All right. A real wrestling name, but that's okay. <laughs> it works. All right, so who is wrestling? Uh, mm, who's wrestling? Watch yourself. I'm a savage coming to your village. I'm on fire. Wow, woo, it's the burning barbarian, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that fire will have to burn pretty hot to have any effect on the iron assassin. <laughs> Ooh. All right. One wrestler is about to break the record for most days as champion. Their opponent won't let this happen. I think you have earned the name Iron Assassin because of you, how close you are to breaking this record. Mm. So you are the one with about to break the record. You are the one about to stop him. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and let the Iron Assassin start. You guys ready? Yes. Begin. 
Pay attention, denizens of Nairobi, as you are about to witness history. <laughs> I would like to play my card. Interrupt the speaker during the promo and start your promo. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, barbarians melt steel beams, baby. And I'm burning hot, hot, hot. My skin is on here. The speaker <laughs> must simulate their pyrotechnic display. Boom! We're gonna go down. We're gonna do. Ooh, my skin is on fire. You don't know what's going on. I'm coming to your village. I'm touching your children. I'm touching your men first, and then your women. I'm a barbarian. Barbarian, baby, All and right. then I'm coming for your championship. The speaker must use metaphors in their promo. <laughs> Let me give it to you like this. <laughs> My skin is metaphorically on fire. It simulates <laughs> the rage that I feel towards your record. And I'm coming in here, and I'm going to burn The audience will perform and sing the YMCA during the promo. <laughs> YMCA. <laughs> because YMCA. you with time. <laughs> See <ya. laughs> Jesus. I did my C the wrong way. Yeah, I did. I did here. I think we did C right. the wrong way. All right. So now, Iron Assassin, since you were interrupted, you get to go now. Oh. I, does he? Does he? I don't so, know. <laughs> uh, I, that might actually just cut off my promo entirely. All right. Well, in that does. case, I yeah. mean. Who are you going to vote for, Jim? I'm voting for Burning Barbarian. Yeah. I'm convinced. <sighs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, no, the Iron Assassin got interrupted <laughs> yeah. and made no attempt he to get back into it. I don't, think I, was, I don't think I was allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Louis just got lucky and got a trump card with that one. Like, good for him. Uh, nobody waited to hear my vote, but I also voted for Oh, I'm sorry, Hannah. Oh, uh, well, now I'm not sorry. <laughs> what? Those weren't played. Those were the ones that were in my hand. Awesome. You got all the ones that I got. Yeah. Well, that was a fun round as a wrestler for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you are the uh, now, now promoter. Now I am. Now you hold all the power. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick your names, wrestlers. <laughs> oh, and Sir Louis Thomas has a chance to win. Mm. I'm sure we will win. All right. Tonight in Boston, Massachusetts, we've got a classic for you, a barroom brawl. The wrestlers are fighting in a barroom brawl match, and that is the only thing about it. So <laughs> let's um, let's take a look at who our competitors are tonight. I am the cruel barber, Ooh. Snip Snip. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how you can handle the singing ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. So let's, um, you know what? Uh, I would just love to hear more of your intonation, Singing Ogre. Why don't you kick things off? Perfect. Fee, fi, fo, rum. I am the Singing Ogre. And you are also now a plumber. Let's talk about your job. If there's one thing I hate, it's leaky pipes. And with my big, strong hands, I'm going to fix them and beat you up. <laughs> Speaker is now a meteorologist. Their promo must be weather-based. Mm, and I see a cold front coming through <laughs> right about here into the region of your face. <laughs> Watch your ass, because there is going to be a slight drizzle of my fist. On your body. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> All right. That, oh man. Cruel barber. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, give, us, give us your rebuttal. All right, you, you're ready for this ba uh, barroom brawl? Well, I'm just at the barbershop next door. I'm going to hop on over, and I'm going to bring my scissors. I'm and while you're at it, tell an incriminating story about your opponent. <laughs> I'm, I was just, like, coming over to the bar with my scissors to snip you, and then I saw you doing cocaine on the bar. <laughs> ah, Jacques! <laughs> 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 I gotta come beat you up. Knock some sense to you, because we're God-fearing, <laughs> law-abiding citizens over here. All right, the speaker is sick and tired of the Smack Talk Wrestling Federation. They must talk about quitting. I'm so fed up with you and your antics and your cocaine that I'm out. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. You can't even make me fight you in this bar room. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna take my shampoos and I'm gonna take my combs and I'm gonna go back to my barbershop next door <laughs> where I can be cruel but law abiding. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh. cruelly law abiding is your it is for you. I'm not gonna lie, end. Hannah, I didn't think you were gonna pull it out with cruel barber, but uh, oh. damned if that didn't get my vote, especially against the cocaine wielding <laughs> singing over. <laughs> What do you think? God, I I I was ready to give it to Lily, but that last I'm, I'm going cruel whole... barber. That's that's my vote. I'll say yeah, cruel barber. Yeah, I think cruel, cruel barber got it. Him. That's Thank fair. It's very fair. Uh, cruel. Well I done. I'm going to vote for you. Just <laughs> 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 uh, wait, what put what that we over in the pile. Yeah. All right. So who's? Uh, oh, it's so Lily. You are now the. Yeah. Wait. Someone has put him in the middle. Ooh, that means I got a chance to win now. Yeah. That's true. Oh my god. I should stop dancing and choose my. This video is going to have to be a lot longer for me to have a chance. Hey, it's me, Slammer Swift. Taylor's younger brother. Well, you'll be fighting against the ultimate bear. Ultimate bear. Oh, Jim. Oh, this is too much. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, well, Slammer Swift, <laughs> Ultimate Bear, welcome to Bakersfield, California. Yeah, Bakersfield. We've got a great match tonight against former ex-tag partners. Oh. The wrestlers used to be a very successful tag team. Competitive differences caused them to break up. Oh. <laughs> With that, um, Sam, Slammer Swift, let's... Uh, yeah, let's Slammer have Swift. You, let's have you go first. <laughs> oh, we gotta flip that time? And do it to it. Listen, Bakersfield, I used to tag with Ultimate Bear, and let me tell you what was a fun time, tagging with Ultimate Bear. <laughs> there's a lot of things I've done in my life. I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh, there's no card. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what there is. Oh. Dance champ. The speaker must show off their best dance moves. Listen, <laughs> Slammer Swift here. <laughs> you don't know what my, me and my sister Taylor hung out all the time. She showed me the sprinkler. I'm gonna keep doing that. This <laughs> Ultimate Bear is the worst. Uh, I hate attacking no. with Ultimate Bear. Uh, heckle, uh, Slammer Swift. Your dancing sucks. <laughs> Listen, I don't even think you're related to Taylor. <laughs> I am related Taylor's to Taylor. Taylor's prettier than you. Taylor is prettier than me. It's you she's, shake it off. She's an angel. Say I love her. Shake you know it off. I don't love Ultimate Bear. Why are you we, saying shake it off? <laughs> I'm not saying shake it off. I'm saying Maybe Ultimate Bear needs to turn a mundane word into a catchphrase. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, take a mundane word, turn it into a catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, banana ring. <laughs> and there's That's the problem. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> banana rain. <laughs> That's what I opted to go with for a mundane word. Banana. <laughs> That household catchphrase that's <laughs> caught on across the nation, <laughs> banana rain. All right, <laughs> ultimate bear, yes. you ready? I'm so ready. Hello, Drop California. You know what's on your flag. It's a bear. It's the <laughs> ultimate bear. I'm here to show my former, my ex, my ex-partner how it's done. Show us how it's done. Uh, list all the moves you're going to use to beat your opponent. <laughs> all right, I know so many wrestling moves, <laughs> and I'm gonna use them all. I'm gonna use the thing where you throw them down. <laughs> I'm gonna use that move where you stand on the ropes and then jump on them. I'm gonna use that move where you kick up in the air. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna punch him. So here's your selfie. Each wrestler must take a selfie. Best selfie wins the second. <laughs> Well, you each have to take it. Yeah, you're right. I don't have a phone, but so time. All right, well, looks like Slammer Swift wins the segment. Then. Slammer Swift wins by selfie. <laughs> Jay, give me the phone real quick. <laughs> I don't know how to take a selfie. Oh, right. man. Uh, things, are not, things are not looking good. <laughs> Slam! Mer Swift! Slam! Mer Swift! Slam! Mer Swift! <laughs> Wait, can I just play another card? The speaker. No, Much no, I don't no, no I played you mine. You to address the one it's a, first. It's a, yeah, it's immediately take a selfie. All right, let's, let's, let's see the selfies. I we'll have to make mine sure got closed these. when did she shut it. You didn't keep, it doesn't take a picture? So you didn't take a selfie, you just showed yourself I did it there. in Snapchat, I didn't send it <laughs> no. out. What am I supposed to do you with saw that? Mine. Yeah. Do a selfie yeah. now. No, the do producer a saw now. mine. I did. This is true. Mm. So you have to compare? Mmm. Yeah, the producer gets to choose at that point. That is true. Hmm. Solid. Duck lips. Good angle. Duck lips. Thanks. This also doesn't help me in post production where we get to see it, but I obviously can't share it because you did it on Snapchat. No, yeah, you can't. No, you can't share it. It's. 
It's a private <laughs> selfie. Okay, Ooh, I just true. want. Can I just Slammer share? ship doesn't share, share things on social <laughs> His media. Snapchat selfie was of him as a bear. It was just like an homage to how much he I liked thought it was a bunny. It was a bunny. Yeah. yeah. And how much like Slammer Swift <laughs> loves bunnies. Comment on whether you think Jim's Slam. a bear. This is tough. Slam. On the one hand, Jim came prepared with a selfie. Oh, an ultimate bear could not. However, to be fair to the Team Fun universe, uh, Ultimate Bear did provide a selfie that they can see. Mm, mm, mm. Therefore, I'm going to award the win that way, because it's uh, it's about all of you. Uh... Uh, bottom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And with that, uh, I would like to announce uh, Wrestling Sheet's official resignation. From Team Fun. Uh, it's been a lovely time. I, I'm glad we got to share this time with you. Are you just um, upset because I beat you with all those wrestling moves I could make? Uh, I'm sorry, Slammer Swift had a much better self. I will def- that, that is the hill I'm choosing to die on today. Good. All right, guys. So, with that, that is Smack Talk Showdown. This is awesome. Thank you so much for watching, for tuning in for Wrestle Week on Team Fun with Pro Wrestling Sheets. Please be sure. ProWrestlingSheet.com. Yes, ProWrestlingSheets.com. Check it out it. for all At great wrestling, wrestling news. on Twitter. Just boom. Ooh, check it out. I, I'm going to do this, and Noah's going to put the li- like a subscribe link down there. Yeah. We'll just do that. <laughs> put a little dude like dancing on top of it. Ooh. <laughs> See, I love that. Look at that. <laughs> so Look at the things. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, keep watching for more wrestling stuff all this week, and all game stuff in general. Team Student Team Fun. Thank you, and goodbye.